everyone, welcome to Ask Ara. This week we are talking about transformational leadership. It's a term you hear a great deal in healthcare and becoming aware of a transformational approach can not only improve your department retention and quality of patient care that's delivered, but it can also advance your management skills and career. Transformational leadership is a term we love to see on resumes here at Aura when we're looking for nurse managers and other healthcare leadership positions. So, what is transformational leadership? The term transformational leadership was first coined by James V. Downton and then leadership expert James McGregor Burns. Leaders must commit and learn skills to become an inspirational leader. Know that you will not become a transformational leader overnight but here are three key steps to get you started and take your leadership to the next level. First and foremost, develop an inspiring vision for the future. A transformational leader needs to create a sense of belonging. Paint the picture that individuals are contributing to something bigger than themselves and the difference they will make in your hospital and in the department. Motivate your team to buy into this vision, own the vision, work for it, and achieve long-term objectives and goals aligned with this vision. As a visionary leader, you must walk the talk by demonstrating a strong character, integrity, confidence, authenticity, and emotional intelligence. Number two, trust is imperative for transformational leaders. Being transparent will help earn your team's trust, which in turn makes them feel comfortable voicing concerns and raising questions. Be confident that you have a capable team, that they are committed to learn and grow their skill sets. Another part of building trust is open, honest communication, setting clear goals and expectations because your team can't be successful if they don't know how success is defined. By building a rock solid foundation of trust, a team engages in productive conflict, healthy debate, shares ideas and perspectives so they can confidently commit to decisions and plans. Plus hold each other accountable for delivering against those plans. Number three, identify individual and team strengths and weaknesses. Transformational leaders don't just tell employees what to do, but they roll up their sleeves and show them how. Leaders must have the necessary knowledge, training, experience, and competence in coaching and mentoring. Considering the individual, giving timely specific feedback, and motivating direct reports to maximize your abilities and potential. When building capabilities, you want to leave space for mistakes to be viewed as learning opportunities. When you practice transformational leadership, you can provide your team with room to be creative and to discover new solutions. Be open to experimentation, failing faster, and the new ways of doing things. Then, individuals can feel empowered to solve problems, change systems as a collaborative team who strives for excellence. You will need to set the example and be a role model. We found transformational leadership to be very beneficial and it's a style that promotes respect, loyalty, appreciation, growth within a team and creates a new cycle of transformational leaders. For more information about transformational leadership, visit our blog or follow us on social where we're always sharing useful articles related to nursing and healthcare leadership.